so, so it's me your boy Kiss I'm saying guess what they can't change the purpose of God <laughs> let me tell you they can't change the purpose of God not that they have not tried <laughs> yes they can't change the purpose of God they are seeing what God have written about you <laughs> they have seen the handwriting on the wall <laughs> they have seen the handwriting of God in the war what God said about you <laughs> Your enemy has seen adequately the handwriting of the Father in the war. The handwriting to do you well. The handwriting to bless you. The handwriting to favor wherever you go. The handwriting to elevate you. The handwriting to turn things that have not been turned around. The handwriting to do you better than the best. The handwriting to rewrite on rewritable. The handwriting to place things in order. They are seeing everything. But believe me, what shocked them is that they can't change the handwriting of God. They can't change the will of God. They can't change the purpose of God. They can't change the mission of God. So the far truth is this. A lot of people are seeing what God has said about you. That's the sort that you will be thinking why they hate me. They have reasons. They have adequately what reasons for hating you. They have every reason to do or to hate you. So no matter what you may do or what you may say, they must surely hate you. You know what I'm saying? They must surely do what hate you. So the fact truth is this. It is the will of God in your life that they can't change. That is the main reason why they hate you. Listen, when, when God asked what Esther, when Haman was around to destroy Esther, Haman truly know that a ah, king was about to favor someone. That is why a man made a decree. Imagine, he made a word and said, no one else will be favored. No one else will be a man for something. Everyone in the, in, the, what, in the place, in the village, either village or city, he disregard them and he said only him will find favor. But not knowing that the favor of God is not about where you come from. It's not about who you are. It's not about your father, your mother, your sisters, your aunties, your cousins. It's about what God have said. So let me tell you, when the Lord take the captivities of Zion, they are, let me tell you, you will be thinking that things are no. <laughs> so the purpose of God is accurately, absolutely, perfectly wonderful in your life. God is not joking when it comes to you. God is not joking when it comes to your life. Not that you have not tried to scatter what God has for you. Not that you have not tried their best to molest the will of the Father towards you. Not that you have not tried their best to stop God from blessing you. Not that you have not tried their best to, to revise the, the decree of God upon you. That's why, listen, that's why the Bible says he, he has already caused us to be blessed. And some of you will be thinking that nobody know how blessed or what God has said about you. <laughs> some of you will be thinking that even in 20 years to come, majority of people know what God has said about you. Majority of people know where God is taking you to. Majority of people know what God has already mandated you to be. So some of us will be like, ah, this or that. But the main truth is this. They can't change what God has for you. They can't rewrite the, the mission of God in your life. They can't change the, the God mind towards you. You can see? So that is the main reason why a lot of people are like, what is going on? They can't change it. They can't revise it. They can't stop God. They have tried, but all that they did fail. They have put in war. That's what the Bible says, the enemies is walking day and night looking for whom to devote. But the main truth is this, they are not capable to devote what God has for you. <laughs> That's why some people will be looking you. Ah, what is happening? How come every day we have tried to use to stop him, but yet he's not stopping him? Why? <laughs> You know, some will be thinking, uh, uh, they rob me, they rag me. We, 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 we are all, we, we are happy family. We, we, we are a living, 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 
So the truth is this, they can't change what God has said about you. They can't change the God adequate mindset towards you. They can't change that that word, that attitude that God has already ordained to bless you. You know, when God said the year that Hosea died, that is the year Isaiah you know, saw the Lord. That means Hosea had been a barrier, but not able to stop him. <laughs> That's why I tell you, bro, even if things are hard now, what God said about you can be revised. Let's be real. Even if things are not going the way you want it now, but believe me, what God said about you can be revised. If God said you will be blessed tomorrow, let thousands and millions of people stand at the gate of your entrance. The Bible said they will come like a flood. Eh? The angels of the Lord will raise up a standard against them. <laughs> you know, there's something that my, that my dad used to tell me. He said, it is in the presence of witches and wizards that they are born kings and queens. you understand what i'm saying so no matter what the enemy may do no matter what they may try no matter what they may plot when god said you will be blessed the truth is this you will be blessed when god said you are favored you are favored and no one can cost whom god have already blessed so that is exactly you know frustrating that is absolutely frustrating a lot of people out there you know what I'm saying? It's truly frustrating a lot of people out there. You know what I'm saying? So majority of people out there are absolutely devastated. Because they can't change the will of God. <laughs> some, some of them will be like, ah, this thing we have tried to use to change the purpose of God towards them. All this thing we have tried to use to stop them. All this thing we have tried to use to, to put barrier. How come it's not working? Why? Because who God said you will be, that is whom you will exactly be. Whom God have said you will be, that is whom you will exactly become. Let it rain or not, they can't stop God from not doing what he promised to do for you. You know what I'm saying? So things are not what are not working the way they want it. They can't stop God. They can't stop the purpose of God. You have no idea how frustrated they are because they can't convince God, not stop God from not blessing you. Not that they have not put in word. These people work day and night. They are restless. They are tiredless. You know, but everything they do to stop you become in vain. You are saying so, remember blessed, we go blessed.